recently, uh, Alan and I, I've known Alan for a very, very long time, and we've recently connected again, and he told me that he is an artist. And Does he owe you money? <laughs> no, he doesn't owe me money. It's the other way around. Oh, you owe her money, okay. <laughs> but anyway, uh, he, then he, I said, I think it'd be cool for you to be on the show. I mean, and show some of your work and, mm -hmm. and give us a little rundown on, you know, what's available out there for people to, if you want mission piece or just oh. that kind of thing and so okay. here's alan hi alan hey alan good to have you on the show alan uh good morning <laughs> how are y'all doing today thank you for having doing me good. We're good. doing thank good you. <laughs> now you're an artist yes and what medium do you stay in I, I i really don't have one i stay in okay i i have ideas inspiration takes over yeah. and what originally was in my head becomes something different okay so uh, you'll see different styles and okay. different. Where do, where's the ideas for style? Are, are, is it something that, that you come up with or is it something already existing? And Sometimes I'll see something and at that time it won't really mean anything, but it'll be an image that gets stuck in my head. Uh -huh. okay. Sometimes it's like a commission piece and wanted a daisy. So I got a daisy. You want a, so daisy? Got a daisy? We got a picture of a daisy here uh, on an easel. Well, we'll show, yeah. Yeah, and this is yours? That is this mine. is your piece? Why, yeah, why does he still have it? He didn't. Did I you, brought it today. Oh, you brought it. Okay. Right. <laughs> now, she said that there was glass particles on it? Or, or yes. There remnants are, on There are shreds of glass. I've been experimenting with glass, and I'm going to be experimenting with broken mirrors, too. Okay. So, uh, the bad luck, I should get over that. But, yeah. So, <laughs> but you have an excess mirrors. of broken glass around the house? And like, no, well, as I'll a matter of fact, I'm <laughs> looking for more glass. Oh, really? Uh, yes. So, that's, that's one of your... Trademarks, I guess, or something it's you like to work with? It's something that got stuck in my head. Uh, Glass on when canvas. In, when you're in different light or in a room where the sun comes in at different oh, places, it flickers. Yeah. So it even draws your eye even more. Yeah, so do you just take the glass the way it is, or do you actually no, put, crush it, make it to your own consistency? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Do, do you like just straight glass or color glass or does it I'm, I, like I said I'm, I experiment Just whatever. exactly it doesn't uh, it depends what it's on <laughs> and and what I'm going usually like I said when I start a painting I'll have a certain image in my head but when I get so far the painting will actually dictate huh? okay. what it needs whether it be color more glass you know stuff like that so I don't pigeonhole myself yeah uh, like you, like I said, you'll see different styles. And different so you start off with something, and the and the and whatever you're putting on the canvas says needs a little more contrast here mm -hmm. to make it perfect or or right Correct. or whatever. And that's that's what you're talking about. Yes. And you even mentioned that you've got paintings that you've worked on for years, for and years. they have completely changed. Changed exactly. I do. It's just whatever is going it's, on. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll have an image, uh, but when I get done and I look at it, I'll go. It needs something else. Mm -hmm. And then one day. Something else will pop in my head. So do you do you on. ever do you ever retire that piece, or do you leave it for years and <laughs> re revisit it later? Uh, it's uh, <laughs> I have one painting that is in a closet. Uh, I woke up the next morning, I had finished it, signed my name, and I was not happy with it. Okay. So that's what happens to those paintings. It went to the closet. <laughs> it went, it to, went to, to the closet. closet. So it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. It's, it's in time out right now. It's in time out. That's right. I put it in the corner. <laughs> he, he, a very he, he dark yeah, corner. Very <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'd like to see some of the different uh, pieces that you've got here. And uh, our stage uh, floor guy is going to bring, what do, you want him, what do you want him to bring next? Oh, he, he can bring uh, any anything. Other? Okay. Uh, He's already <clears> shown <throat> my picture. My yes, this uh -oh. is the daisy. Oops. Put that in your pocket. Um, this was one of the few paintings that I done in one day. Usually, it takes me. Oh, the daisy. Okay. Yes, and uh, <coughs> but it and just, I actually saw painted. another piece that had glass in it, and I right. said, I want glass in mine. So he so, made to order. Right. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I do commission pieces. Uh, a lot of these in frames or commission pieces are in personal collections. The unframed ones are mine and are my. Secluded cabin. And you do okay. prints as well. Yes, I do people. prints. There's prints that are available. Um, is that the prints? Is, is that a process where you photograph it and then you make prints, like, lithographs, or whatever? Uh, whatever well, going? they're actually huge photographs. Okay. Uh, but they're oh, okay. the same size as the paintings. <clears throat> I, they're yeah, limited. Makes them. Okay. Yes. Uh, here's one. 
This is called reflection. This was one of those images that I said just got stuck in my head. Um, I saw it somewhere, and it was time to paint a portrait. And now, is this image I, in your head, or is it a photograph? Well, I, when I originally saw it, it was probably a photograph. Okay. Like I said, it just, but at the time, it didn't do anything creatively for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but when the time came to do a portrait, I thought of the image and the way the guy looked in the photograph. Mm -hmm. So is that oil? Or no, is that this, is, different? What is, this that? is all acrylic here. Okay. Um, I don't know. The, the daisy was also acrylic and mixed media. Okay. Um, here. I'll take it. This is called Planter Garden. Um, now, you have some of these available at yes, Backyard uh, Prince, right. Prince uh, Planter Garden are at Backyard Framer on the Harrison Square. Okay. Um, actually, on the east side of the Harrison Square. Mm -hmm. uh, Prince of uh, the Planter Garden, uh, Walking on Sunshine, and Jimmy, which okay, so we'll, will be we're shown. We're doing Walking on Sunshine next, it looks like. Okay. This was another image that when I first saw it, it's called Walking on Sunshine. Um, I didn't think nothing of it. a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, it was one of those photographs on the camera that was an accident. Uh, nah. Okay. And it's like uh, I, I just happened like, to like somebody was holding it right down by their side yeah. and, and got this picture. Which is sometimes the greatest thing in the world. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's how this came about. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it's a pair of Chucks and Levi's. Yeah. Right. Right. But uh, this is also uh, acrylic. And um, and this is one of those prints that are available at Backyard Framers. Okay. Next we have, this was a commissioned piece. This is called Squirrel Dogs and Mushrooms. <laughs> there you go. It's like morels there. It is. And this was, this was a fun painting to do um, because he wanted so many different things. And depth of field came into play and different things. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was... It was enjoyable. Do you do you challenge yourself when you do these? Yes, yes, I do. Like I said, the depth. Spe of field I would, I would, to I would say I would think especially commission pieces where somebody wants something What's specific. A, yeah, they're sorry. usually commission pieces um, that I have and that I do are usually from about anywhere between half a dozen to a dozen photos, and so you're pulling part of an image. Oh, I see. Yeah. Part of you yeah. know. Sometimes I have to sketch it out, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just to get it yeah. all together. So it is Brain a challenge. Explodes but it's fun. Stuff. I mean, it's that challenge where you're constantly thinking and constantly looking and checking it out and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So cool. Cool. Uh, even though it is tough, it's enjoyable. It's like a good workout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a brain workout, isn't it? And no, really I stand up for 10, 13 hours yeah. a day of painting. Sometimes I was gonna say you can't really. That passed my my image here, and, and it's just. There's a lot of de detail that the, yes. the screen does not show. Yes, there, yeah. is, there is a lot of detail in that painting. Uh, this one here is called Wonderland. This is in a private collection, and there's no prints available. But if you would like, I could probably have prints made. Uh, of course, it's winter, so I didn't put winter uh, in Wonderland. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, but it was just one of those days I have, and there's another painting over there. Then I'd walk past it and saw it, and I went back and sketched it because it was just so. You, you can look at it; it just feels cold but comforting at yeah, the same time. Yeah. yeah okay. So. And and uh, artists do that; they go with a mood more than more than actually what the subject right. is. Art artists <clears throat> art is supposed to uh, create um, an emotion, mm -hmm. um, whether it's cool, warm, anger, mm -hmm. whatever. That's what art's supposed to do. And sometimes even the title will challenge you a little bit more uh, when you look at it. Uh, uh, but different things, and that's what artists like to play with. I know artists who hide stuff in paintings. I've hid stuff in paintings mm -hmm. uh, that <clears throat> nobody will probably see until yeah. 10 years from now yeah. after they've looked at it, yeah. you know, for yeah. all day. Yeah. So, cool. Cool. We've got so, yes. four minutes. Yeah, so we have okay. minutes. I, I want to see this next one, uh, the one that, the other one, that one. No, that's, that, that one? one, I want to, I want to see, I want, I want your impression on for this idea. Okay, from. this is this is a very interesting piece. Uh, I worked in Arizona, and we went on a. Uh, is that an actual? 
This is called Cathedral uh, in the Rocks. I, I think I've seen that somewhere. Yes, and it's this is a thing. real place. I was sketching it, and it had just rained, mm. and I had this aha moment. Ah. And I hate to give it away, <laughs> but this, the red rocks, if you look at it, represent the blood that was shed on the cross. Oh, yeah, okay. And like I said, it had rained, so water had run oh, down the rocks. Okay. Yeah. It was wet. So it was like, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, man. <laughs> 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 I got it. Now I know why they put it here. <laughs> because it's not an easy place to get to. Yeah. But, yes, yeah. this is Cathedral in the Rocks. That's neat. Nice. I like that. I like that. We've got about four or three minutes so left. Just, you might just have to give us the name. And yeah. Okay. Here's, and uh, this, is another, this is another print available at Backyard Framer. Uh, this is called Jimmy. Yeah, we all know Jimmy. And we, we all know, know Jimmy. Jimmy. And um, this, was, this was actually a painting that I started on. It was late at night. And the next morning I got up, and I didn't remember finishing it. But it was like, because you get in a zone when you're yeah. painting sometimes. Yeah. And when I got up, when I was like, wow. Well, I, did I like that. that. The texture and everything is yeah. really cool. good. Cool. So. Okay. Your glasses used a, used are fixing a lot of paint on your Are they fixing to right. fall down? Yeah, that's fine. This one's titled Lead Singer. This is another one part of my rock series. Good. And uh, are there prints of this one? No, I, I would like to. Uh, but you need. You need I think some, it's it's yeah. almost too big, but I am going to take it up there and try to get. Um, that's the one thing about painting on a big canvas, is unless you go to a specialized place that has it. But I am going to try to get prints on it, even if they're yeah. smaller. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, but yeah, this is uh, got a lot of action in it. <laughs> okay, this next painting, this is of my daughter. She was actually asleep in the back seat of the car hmm. when I took the <laughs> photograph. But her nickname is Squirrel, for me. Uh, so this is Squirrel and the Clownfish. And I say the clownfish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, after this painting was done, she lost a necklace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but this is this is hers. I gave it to her, and I'm gonna have prints made of this too because this has always been a really yeah. popular painting. Um, that, has a, have, that has a a, a red purple theme. The color, yeah. To it. Yes, colors. yes, and the blue. You know, you yeah. get sleep. You know. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what you try to draw out certain things. And of course, everybody hollers at me because I didn't sign it, but I did. It's just hard to tell. Hard to tell. It's hidden. <laughs> it's hidden. Like I said, I like hiding stuff in paintings. Uh, yeah. Okay, I got one more, and this is the one that Ann referred to earlier. No, oh, that's it. This is called Strawberry and Buttercups. Now, this one also has glass in it. Okay. Um, this was the first piece I did experimenting with glass. Okay. And uh, it's hanging at Hummingbird Hideaway in Jasper, Arkansas. It's the last business on the left going south out of town. Mm -hmm. But it's actually hung there, and she's hung it across from the window. So okay. it I picks up nice. a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of light. A lot of light. Of light. Well, Alan, we are Listen, totally out of do time. We have a, can we give his number, or is yeah, it we can. up there? We your, should have uh, information. On how uh, my information, it. you can email me at alancallahan at yahoo.com. That's A-L-L-O-N. Correct. C A L L A H A N. Uh, also, uh, my phone number is 479 305 4289. Okay. Thanks, we appreciate man. you staying. Hey, well, thank you. And good luck to you on your art. It's uh, very interesting. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. You're a true artist. I'm, I'm sure you got all the, all the right things that you said during the interview that make you a, a, a creative, kooky person. That's, yeah, that's, that's got it. Person, that's that's it. got it. I don't okay. sleep much. Paint a lot and listen to a lot yeah. of music. Right. <laughs> We'd like to thank all the guests who have been on the show today. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, you can contact information at the end of the show and contact us anytime. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.